everyone. Welcome to this video. I, Dala Nakuri, from the Department of Physics of Assam Bombas School University, Guwahati. I would like to share with you all about, uh, about a very interesting topic in physics, that is the refraction of light. So before coming into this topic, let me first ask you all this question. Have you ever noticed or observed the bottom of water it appears to be raised? Or have you ever wondered how these cameras they captured a moment? Yes, by now you might have guessed, right? This is all because of refraction. So, what is this refraction of light? It is the bending of light as it passes obliquely from one transparent medium to another. And in this diagram that I've drawn, this diagram it shows the phenomenon of refraction of light at this plane surface x1. Here a ray, which is the incident ray, is incident on this glass surface at this point O. As it passes through this glass, this will bend, it will bend towards this normal MOM. And this and it will follow this part OB, which is the refracted ray. So this phenomenon or, or and this duration of light as it passes uh, as it passes from as it, from this original part it passes through this uh, surface to separate these two media this is called refraction so what is the cause of this refraction the cause of this refraction is that it the is that the velocity of light is different at different media for example here in this diagram that I've drawn here air we know that the speed of light in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and the speed of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second so from here we see that the speed of light it decreases as it goes from this air to glass as it passes from air to glass it decreases it means that it goes from this rarer medium which is air to a denser medium which is glass and it this ray it will bend towards this normal MOM but on the other hand if this ray of light when it passes to a medium in which this speed of light it increase that is it goes from this glass which is a denser to this air which is a rarer then this ray of light it will bend away from the normal so in this figure, it is clear, we can clearly, it is clearly shown that this ray, AO, as it passes through this glass, which is in a denser medium, this ray, it bends towards this normal, then we, we see that this angle, this is the angle of refraction, is less than this angle of incidence. In this case, this angle of refraction, it is this angle which is made between this normal, this normal with this refracted ray. And the angle of incident, it is the angle which is made between this normal with this incident ray. So, now, so now this, uh, experimentally, this person named Willie Ward Nels, he is a Dutch scientist, he experimentally he observed that there are two laws of refraction. Number one it is the incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence and the refracted ray, they all lie in the same plane. That is this incident ray, this normal at this point of incidence and this refracted ray, they all lie in this same plane. And number two it is the sign or the ratio of the sign of angle of incidence to the sign of angle of refraction is a constant for the two media. That, that is from this figure we can have in the right as the ratio of angle of incidence by ratio of or by the sign of angle of refraction is a constant. Right? F constant. And this constant is mu noted as mu a b. And this constant is known as the relative refractive index of this medium B with respect to the medium A. And this equation, and this equation one, it is known as the Snell's law. And this refractive index, this refractive index, it depends upon the nature of this two media, of 
the media and the wavelength of light. Wavelength of light. Wavelength lambda. That is, if the wavelength of light is shorter, then this refractive index will be more, and vice versa. That is uh, for this. Uh, for this, uh, you know, I think you all know this. For the spectrum, it consists of these seven colors, right? The pure. So in this violet light, violet light, this wavelength is less compared to the red light. So this refractive index will be more in this violet light compared to that to the red light. So that's all about this refraction of light. Uh, you know, there are so many. There are many examples of this refraction which we can be see, which can be seen in our everyday life. Refraction of light, it can be seen, you can see refraction of light in our home. Now that you know what refraction is, so refraction of light, it can be seen when the light it enters through your window, you can observe refraction there also. And also when this, uh, you can notice this refraction when uh, how is your body it appear the appearance of your body when you are in this bath water or in swimming pool that also you can see reflection there so there are so many and that's all for this about this topic thank you i hope this topic has helped you a lot